with T quilts and we're back with the Harley Treads quilt. We're on our last section for piecing blocks. We have four blocks that we need today and again I will go ahead and throw the photo of the piecing chart on the screen so you can pause your screen and take a screenshot so you'll have the pattern. And this time we're working with K, L, and M. And for block K, we need two of them and they are 24 by 12 inches finish. So 24 inches by 12 inches finish. Need one, two of those. And then we need one L block, which is six by 12 finish. Six and one half by 12 and one half unfinished. And one block M, that is six, inches by 24 inches unfinished so 6 by 24 finished again I have already gone ahead and pieced these blocks together for K1 I have a block here that's cut in the center 12 and a half inches so it's 12 inch finished so I add two pieces on each side that were cut six and a half inches that will finish at six inches. So this is now 24 and one half by 12 and one half to go in my first K spot. In my second K spot, I got even faster here. I actually took two shirts that were cut 12 and one half inches and just sewed them together. And so now I have a 24 and a half inch by 12 and a half inch unit that will finish from my K position. For M, I needed one six by 12. So I had a block here that was six and a half inches square, but next to it was something that was black. So what I did was I just cut off an inch on one side, added an inch and a half strip, and then I sewed a six and a half inch square along the bottom section. So this is now six and a half by 12 and a half. And my last piece, I'm just going to turn it sideways so you can see it. it is 24 and one half by six and a half. So again, I had a six and a half inch square from the front of a t-shirt. So I just added two six and one half inch squares to top and bottom. And this is actually 18 inches. <laughs> Let's make sure. So I actually need to add something else onto this to make it. 24 and a half inches previously in the other videos we have now pieced all of this part that's over this dark brown line here has all been pieced together into one section and then on the third part which is this section here the only part that i have sewn together is this block d that has two f's and this block e so these are the only three things here that are sewn together. So now I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up piecing these units together. And I guess what I could do is my seam number one would be right here, piecing these units here together. So I can piece my block M to my block A. And then once I do that, I can add my next step would be seam two right here, sewing this block J to that unit. And then right here, I can make this my seam number three. Basically, you get the gist of how I'm piecing. I just wanted to show you how you look at this puzzle and how you actually piece it. You could do it differently if you want, but I just wanted to give you a little demo. And I am going to sew my pieces and I'll come back with the completed quilt top. So I just wanted to briefly come back and show you that I now have the bottom section, the third part of the quilt completely sewn together. So now I just need to 
So all of the partial seamings that are required to put this bottom third with the first part. I will come back and show you a picture, but for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here and add the picture at the end. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime that I upload a video. See you next time. Bye-bye.